Yo, what's going on, guys? Nasher here, and NHL 21 has officially released, which means it's time to learn the brand new deeks. In today's video, we're going to be covering the Kucherov no move deke. We were able to do this somewhat in previous games with a glitch animation. Now it has officially been added to the game as a move that you can do. First, we'll go over the basic controls and how it is supposed to look. Then we'll get into some actual examples in both a shootout and a game. Let's go ahead and hop on into this thing. This one here is without a doubt the cleanest Kucherov that I scored and the one that most replicated how Kucherov did it in real life. So you see me come in, do a quick behind the back one-hander, we'll go on on net, swipe over the puck, and then it slides five hole there on McElhaney. So what are the controls for this deke? I'll go ahead and put a controller in the corner so you guys can follow along and see exactly how I did it. But essentially it is a two-parter. The first part is going to be holding LB and pushing that left analog stick to the right to initiate the stride deke. After then doing that quick stride, you're going to take your right analog stick and push it to the left. And that's what causes the puck to actually slide away from you without you picking it back up. The easiest way to remember this for lefty players is both analog sticks are going to go in. First, you do the left stick and then you follow up with the right stick. Now for righty players, you're going to do the same motions, but the exact opposite and flip it. So with McKinnon coming up on the left side, we're going to go ahead and hit the left analog stick to the left side, the right analog stick to the right side and that is going to cause that puck to go in now you know how to do the deke overall this one is pretty easy to pull off but very difficult to score on so what i've found the most helpful is to start all the way over at the right boards and cut directly to the far post now when you want to initiate this deke is around the hash mark so right once you get there hit lb start throwing it and the timing should be just about right where you can either get it to go five hole or sometimes even have it slide in on the far side i think this deke's going to be more useful against user goalies when they don't manually go into the butterfly when you're playing the ai like i am here a lot of it kind of just felt like luck i'm still kind of out here experimenting and trying to figure out what the best option is but there's quite a few examples here that i can show you guys of it working over all pretty well here's me messing around with different angles so i had Sidney crosby i was able to pull this one off going more head on but you saw there instead of it kind of being clean like we've seen previously i smacked right into the goalie now there's a chance that this would count because the puck may have went in before i smacked into him there's a chance we get a call for a goalie interference but nonetheless it looked pretty good and it shows just kind of the different ways that you can be creative with the Kucherov no move. Here's what can happen. I have Matthews going in in an actual shootout. We try to do the no move deke and I end up smacking into the goalie. Not only that, the stick goes behind him and we double touch it as well. Really, if you're not going in at the right angle, this is what's going to happen. Your angle and your timing are definitely the most important part of this deke or else you're just gonna have a ton of these. And trust me, when I was going through and attempting this in practice mode, this is what happens a majority of the time. But as we go on, and as we continue to practice this, we'll hope hopefully figure out how to hit it at least more frequently than I am right now. Here's McDavid trying to pull it off and getting a concussion on the net. If that was rusty, he'd probably be out for the rest of the season. And finally, my favorite clip of the bloopers, the bricket goes in and just gets absolutely bodied. So again, do not expect to hit this on the first try by any means, but keep working on it. Now let's show a couple examples in games and shootouts where it actually worked out. Here's Tavares coming in, cutting left to right, and then making his way to the net. And yes, we find that far side. That one was absolutely clean, did not touch the goalie. Puck goes right into the net. You love to see that one. Again, with this clip starting on the right side, cutting to that left post, right as I get to the hash marks, I'm pushing LB, that left stick in, the right stick in directly afterwards, and we are able to hit that on the far side last clip of the day and this one took forever i was able to pull off the kucherov in traffic during a game now for the record this is on rookie mode all right so this is probably not going to work exactly how you want it to if you're playing on a higher difficulty or online but take a look at this clip we've got kucherov coming up the right side i cut through the defender pull it off and ram into the goalie but we can see there the rules are on and this goal did count so sometimes like i said even if you hit the goalie like this was not done perfectly and i don't even think we could do it perfectly with the angle that we had we were still able to get the job done there kucherov making his way to the net we had that exact angle with a couple bodies in the mix but it still somehow 
sneaks five points. So there you have it. That is how you pull off the brand new Kucherov Deke in NHL 21. I hope you found this helpful. The controls for the Deke, again, are relatively simple. It's just learning the angles and the timing. But the more you hop in free skate and practice mode and try this thing out, the more you will succeed. So keep on grinding at it. Let me know how it goes for you guys and tweet me and send me your best clips over on Instagram. I'll try to put together a video of some of my favorites. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit it with a like. We'll have some more tutorials on the way. Of course, hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 500,000 subscribers. And now that NHL 21 is here, we will be posting every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time and peace. Yeah.